Hello and welcome to program 66 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. And uh, program 66 is a function that um, determines if a divergence has occurred and if it has, it returns a, a value if a bullish divergence has occurred and a different value if a bearish divergence has occurred. So back in, in uh, program 62, I created a program that drew lines, as you can see on this chart, when divergence has occurred. And uh, one of the features of this program was that it was very flexible in that the oscillator used could be the stochastic, the relative strength index, TSI, CCI, the MACD, or the stochastic of RSI. The other thing uh, significant about it was that we could have a situation where the, the pivot in price didn't quite line up with the pivot in oscillator, which of course often happens. And the program had a uh, an input which would determine how many bars apart those two pivots could be. It also didn't just compare the two most recent pivots. It also, when it found a pivot, would go back and compare several previous ones, again, depending on the user inputs. Now, a, a client asked me, well, could you create this functionality as part of a function so that I can apply that in, for example, a strategy to get an idea as to whether a divergence has occurred or not? And so what Program 66 is is a, a function which will determine if a, a, a bearish or bullish divergence has occurred. Now, if we look at the um, the actual function, what I've done is created a demonstration show me study, and uh, I've got that here applied to a IBM 33 tick chart. And you can see it's just drawing dots at where effectively the lines would end uh, if we had had program 62 applied to the chart. Now bear in mind this, this function does not draw the lines. It will just be used by other programs to, uh, for example, in this case, draw dots or perhaps in a strategy. And uh, if we look at the inputs, called, I've called the uh, test program program 66 test and this is feeding information into the function you'll see that there is quite an array of inputs and um, looks pretty gruesome but if we just uh, go into it in a bit of detail we'll see it's not as bad as it looks so if we go to the the program page and what I've done is uh, listed here the which which OS user input and you can see that uh, this can be one two three four five etc and uh, there is uh, a, an oscillator and then there is a sub value underneath it so you need to choose the number of the oscillator you want to use and then if you come down here what I've done is created a, a graphic color coded so for example if you chose the stochastic input then you would only need to make sure that these values in the pale blue were set for the stochastic. If you chose CCI, then you just need to make sure that inputs were set for these inputs here in the, uh, the CCI. The O divergence out is the output, and the, the only other two lines you need to be aware of are the uh, maximum ray size, which OSC, uh, left strength, right strength, bar tolerance, and then PIV price, PIV, PIV price H, Price L, which determine the price used by the uh, the pivots for the price value. So you can also get more information about these inputs in the program 62 program page, although they are slightly different because these uh, these two inputs here, PIV price H and PIV price L, are new inputs. I'd previously used the uh, stock price H and stock price L for those values. So how is the uh, the function called? Well, what I've done is um, created, as I mentioned, a demonstration um, test program. And uh, you can see here that we're calling the 
function using value one equals program 66 and then the inputs that I've just showed you. You could equally uh, just use, for example, here where we've got program 66 and we just put numeric values into the function. So long as O divergence out, which is the output value, is, uh, is there. So what it does is if O divergence out is 1, then that is a bullish divergence. If it is minus 1, it is bearish. And because of the, the fact that uh, this program can have a bar tolerance, in other words, the uh, oscillator pivot could be the most recent and therefore the price pivot could have occurred a few bars ago, depending on the, uh, the, the bar tolerance. Um, there is also, the function also returns a value uh, into itself, in this case becomes value 1 and that value 1 it shows you how far back the um, the price pivot occurred so that you can for example in this case draw the draw the dot and uh, you can see how I just used that in the plot statement I plotted that many bars ago and I plot plotted at the low value that many bars ago Okay, so as I say, I'm going to include this, this show me study, but you're by no means constrained just to use this show me study. You could also uh, build it into a strategy or whatever you like. Um, so the function itself is um, also unprotected. So you can uh, work on that and make changes and use it in your own programs. So I hope you will find this useful.